All right. So the second session we left, the first session we left at 2.1 part D. Calculate what PI limited share price will be after a script dividend. So a script dividend of one for every four. So they have uh, a total of 60 million. So if you say 60 million divided by four, you get 15 million, right? So what you need to know, let me stop sharing, right? Is you have 60 million times 15. That is the value of the shareholding, right? Or of the shares, right? So 60 million times 15 gives us 900 million. Divided by 60 million plus 15 million, which is 75 million. So the new price then would be 12 grand. Okay, so the question goes on let's see what the question goes on to say the question goes on to say okay that's it show sure, that that calculation i just showed you then calculate what the terms of the rights issue should be if the directors would consider a rights issue at a discount of 16% to raise funds required for the development of the new pro production plant, right? So ignore the impact of the script dividend, right? So they need 50 million, right? Um, and there's a discount of 16%, right? So we now say each share, okay, so that's 16%. So let me stop sharing, right? So here, we say 15 times 0 0.84, taking away the 16% on the price, we get 12 and 60. So 50 million divided by 12 and 60. Well, is it 50 million that's needed? Yeah, 50 million. 50 million divided by 12 and 60 gives us three. Right here, let's, let's read. Fifty million. All right, that's it. All right. So that's three million nine hundred and sixty-eight two five four divided by sixty million. All right. So So gives us zero point zero six six one three seven one six six. So one is S to one. So if we want to convert this to one, then that would be zero point zero six six eight seven point six six. So it's one S to fifteen. Okay. To be one is to fifteen. That's how you calculate this. Okay. So question two is done, right? Then we look at question three. Right. Question three. Um let's look at question three. Uh jump limited. 
Um, so the the free ones it's up to question three, then question four and five. Uh, we will look at that later. So question three. Um, Jump Limited is financed only by equity, right? Um, valued at um, uh, 11 million uh, rand, right? Jump Limited pays a dividend. Of All right, so... Uh, Jump Limited is financed only by equity, valued at 11 million rand. Jump Limited pays a dividend of 1,430 to its shareholders annually. So it has a fixed dividend um, uh, policy, right? It's a fixed dividend policy because they pay a fixed amount, right? So if they ask you about the dividend policy, then that's it. Dive Limited, this is another company, its capital structure includes debt valued at 4 million based on market value. In addition to equity valued at 11 million, Dive Limited's debt incurs interest at 270,000 per annum where dividends are paid to its shareholders amounting to 800, so also a fixed dividend policy. Jump and Dive are identical in all operating and risk characteristics, both based and operating in South Africa, where tax payable is 27%. Assume there's no growth in dividend. Calculate the value of equity of Dive, right? So to calculate the value of equity, we use the uh the gordon's dividend growth model in this case all right um then they say calculate the cost of capital for jam right so to calculate the cost of capital right remember uh ke Cost of capital is KE. KE is equal to D. In this case, we can't say D1. It's D over PO, right? So the dividend is um, 14.30 over 11 million, all right? So the cost of equity is therefore uh, 1430 divided by 11, which gives us 13%, right? Then the first one that we just left out was saying calculate the value of equity of dive, right? So the value of equity in this case um based on the um all right so value of equity is p o is equal to d over k e minus g but in this case there's no growth so we are going to use uh eight hundred thousand divided by 0 0.13 right because the 0 0.13 which we determined firstly for dive it's coming here so you have to go to calculate the ke for dive first before you can determine the value of equity for the other company so it's now eight hundred thousand divided by 0 0.13 which gives you six million one hundred and fifty three thousand 846 uh, rand and 15 cents, okay? Because there is no growth, so it can't be D1 uh, and it can't be plus G here. So it is what it is 
just the way it is. Okay. Then calculate the cost of equity for dive and the cost of debt for dive. All right. So we did calculate. Um, did I make a mistake here? Because I calculated for cost of capital for dive, for jump, is what we first have to, to make. So please ignore everything that I've done, right? Um, because the first question relates to dive, not to jump. And the second question relates to jump, not to dive. So the cost of capital for jump, right? The debt is 4 million, equity is 11 million, right? And we've got tax for 27%. So what they are want actually is the work, right? So we do not know uh, the other in inputs that we have to input here, right? Which is why we have to first calculate the value of equity for dive, which we will use as the the um, which we will use now to determine the cost of capital for uh, jump, right? So the value of equity, which is uh, P O, is equal to D one over. KE, right? Okay, so in this case, if we are to calculate the value of, of equity for dive, given the fact that we have dividends given at 800,000 uh, rand for jive, right? Not for um, not for for dive for jump. I mean, not for dive. It therefore that means that we need to compare the two companies and ensure that um, what we use for dive is also what we use for jump, since they share the same operating and risk characteristics. Okay, so given. The fact that uh, Jump has uh, a dividend of 800,000 uh, Rand and equity of 11 million, debt for 4 million, right? But we haven't been given the cost of debt, right? At all, right? But we know the value of the company in total uh, is. 15 million, and there's a tax rate of 27%, right? So what we do now is um, for jump, it's 800,000, which is the dividend, over the value of the shares, which is 11 million, Right, um, this would give us uh, the KE, right? Uh, and we have 270,000 over debt of 4 million, right? But now remember, this is before tax. Let me stop sharing here. This is before tax, right? So if we calculate this, this is debt, this is equity, right? Uh, KD, right? So uh, 270 over 400. It gives us 6.75 multiplied by 0 0.73 since the interest rate is, the tax rate is 27%. Um, Therefore, it means that the cost of debt for uh, jump is 6.75 times 0.73, which gives us 
percent because it's always calculated after tax, right? Then we'll also need to calculate the work, right? Then after finding the KD here, right, which is actually at question three, right? Which is actually at question three, right? For for uh, dive, right? Then the cost of equity for dive now is what we need to calculate. It must be equal to the cost of capital for jump because they have the same. Uh, they have the same. Uh, uh, what do you call it? They have the same risks, right? So to get the cost of capital for jump now, right? It's only uh, equity that they have, which is 1430 divided by 11 million that we calculated earlier, right? Which is 3.2 that you're calculating, right? And I believe we found this as 13, right? So that is 13%, right? Then remember, this is part B of question three, 3.3, 3, excuse me, 3.3, .3, uh, which relates to jump, right? And this relates to dive, which is its cost of capital, which is also its cost of equity, since it's fully equity financed, all right? Now, so we have answered, uh, we have answered uh, 3.2, which is for jump, and we've calculated 3.3, part B, which is the cost of debt. So now calculate the value of the equity of uh, dive, right? So if this relates to dive now, what is the value of its equity, of which we are given the value of equity being 11 million? So you actually do not need to really calculate anything because it's given, right? But if you want to base now on the KE for, for JAM, it therefore means that you will be saying PO is equal to D, there's no growth, over KE. So this would be 800,000 divided by 0 0.13, right? Which is the KE for, um, which is the, the cost of equity for JAM. But the cost, sorry, the cost of capital for jump is the cost of equity for dive, right? So it's 800,000 divided by 0 0.13, which gives us 6153846.15. Right. So the last question now, what we are remained with or remaining with. Um, is the weighted average cost of capital now for dive. So now the weighted average cost of capital will not be a problem because you already have the values, the costs, right? And you also have got the value of, and the cost for the debt. So you use those using the formula that we always use where we calculate um, I'll give you the formula now, then that one you can calculate on your own, right? So work is equal to value of equity times cost of equity plus value of debt times cost of debt after tax, right? All over the value of the company. All right. So here, you got 6.5 million something times the 13%, right? Plus the 4 million 
right, times the four point something percent which we calculated over the summation of these two, which would be 11 point something million. All right, then you get your weighted average cost of capital. That's all, all right. So these are the three sessions that you get, uh, free assignments from question one to question three, then the rest we can see. Thank you.